Hello, I'm Rex Hagen, and welcome to the fourth edition of Video Preview. One of October's biggest releases is Working Girl from Silkwood director Mike Nichols. Harrison Ford stars in this $62 million box office smash, whose part, by the way, was originally written for a female. Oscar-nominated Sigourney Weaver also stars, and you'll enjoy the connection to her Gorillas in the Mist. When she returns from an ill-fated vacation, she's carrying a stuffed gorilla. This film was up for six Oscars and won one for Carly Simon's great song, Let the River Run. Can I get you anything, Mr. Trainer? Coffee, tea, me? <laughs> Isn't she a riot? That'll be all, Cynthia. But how you look. I have a head for business and a bod for sin. Is there anything wrong with that? CBS Fox Video presents Harrison Ford. Last night was special. It wasn't so special. I had to carry up three flights of stairs. Sigourney Weaver. This woman is my secretary. She's not. Oh, no? Ask her. And Melanie Griffith. How about you? I'm flat broke. I'm crazy about a man that I will probably never see again. Well, besides that... <laughs> In a film directed by Mike Nichols. I'm telling you, she's your man. Working girl. You know, maybe I just don't like you. Me? Nah. <laughs> Warner Brothers has a double play for October with Dead Bang and Dead Calm. Dead Bang with Miami Vice's Don Johnson heads this true action adventure yarn about a cross-country hunt for a serial killer. Directed by John Frankenheimer, who did Manchurian Candidate and 52 Pickup, Dead Bang was written by an ex-FBI agent who mixes Cobra, Lethal Weapon and Betrayed into a non-stop edge-of-your-seat thriller. And Dead Calm, another action tale, opened at 954 screens nationally. Directed by Australian filmmaker Philip Noyce and written by Terry Hayes from the Mad Max series, Deadcom stars Sam Neill from A Cry in the Dark. Don Johnson has more than Miami Vice to fight. He has a cross-country whirlwind of dead bang excitement. Who are you? I'm first, I'm the Grim Reaper. But when an L.A. cop takes on the neo-Nazi underworld, it's war. These people aren't a ragtag bunch of yahoos that drink beer and run around in sheets on Saturday night. They got money behind them. It embodies the nucleus of what America once was and will be again, Mr. Beck. Just what is that? White and pure, Mr. Beck. The home video hit Betrayed just scratched the surface of neo-Nazism in Heartland America. Now, Don Johnson's blowing the lid off it. The latest from Manchurian Candidate director John Frankenheimer, Don Johnson, Dead Bang. One woman, two men, and enough murderous passion and suspense to turn their calm ocean voyage into a turbulent, fatal attraction. You know, I was watching you when you were sleeping, and I gotta tell you that your face fascinates me. Spare, smart, seductive, enough tension to keep us all hyperventilating for hours. You tried to kill me, Ray? Mesmerizing. Terrifying, fascinating. They tried to suck the light out of you. An imaginative thriller full of surprises will send your pulse sky high. You sound so much like them, Ray. It's scary. A Cry in the Dark's Sam Neill and Australian Best Actress Award winner Nicole Kidman battle it out with the fatally attractive Billy Zane in one of this year's most suspenseful thrillers. I just want to talk! Dead calm. To support the children's classic, The Land Before Time, MCA and Cheerios are joining together to promote this exciting release. Open one of these specially marked boxes of Cheerios and you'll find a great reusable Land Before Time sticker. Or eat enough Cheerios and you'll be eligible for a Land Before Time bowl and mug set. And remember, the retail price of this kid vid is $26.95 after discount. From the creators of an American tale comes another treasure for the entire family filled with friendship. Do not stop! We must stay together! Courage. Oh, you can't quit now. What if 
the Great Valley is just over the top of these rocks. And laughter. <laughs> Presented by George Lucas and Steven Spielberg and directed by Don Bluth. Some things you see with your eyes. Others you see with your heart. A new animated film classic is Boar. A movie the Dallas Times Herald labeled a warm family film that's long on charm and excitement. An experience the Chicago Tribune declared has the emotional force of a classic. Mother, where are you? It's an incredible adventure. The Land Before Time. From the veteran comedy director Howard Zeef, who directed Unfaithfully Yours with Dudley Moore, comes Dream Team. This is a comedy about four mental patients who get separated from the therapist on the way to a baseball game. The film was shot in Toronto, and it stars Peter Boyle, who played the wizard in Taxi Driver and the monster in Young Frankenstein, but the cast is headed by none other than Batman himself, Michael Keaton. Put your game face on. Here we go. I'll tell you something, that's the best backhand I've ever seen on Thursday. Four Major League Psychotics. I never agreed with that diagnosis. We're on a field trip to a ball game. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. Don't you come back. When their doctor disappeared. We run into one complication. Murder. What you say? Could you recommend a good clinical psychiatrist in the neighborhood? We seem to have lost ours. Now. We ran into a little snag out here. Somebody's trying to kill Dr. Weitzman. I fear my doctor may have been seized by the Romans. They're on their own. Yeah! The dream team. Arise and walk, my son. <sighs> ah, it's great to be young and insane. Leviathan is the name of a sunken Russian submarine in this underwater saga, predecessor to the Abyss. Stan Winston, the special effects genius from Aliens, is at it again with a slew of Hollywood heavies from other sci-fi films like Star Wars and Conan. It's also written by David Peoples, who wrote Blade Runner, and grossed over $16 million in domestic release. Five miles beneath the ocean's surface, a crew of underwater miners are on a routine expedition. How much silver are you going to start taking out of that mine again? Well, it's like I tell you, Mark, I think you got an honest-to-God bonanza on your hands. And you can haul us out of here in a couple of days, this mine will play itself. Good. Six-pack. Six-pack, answer. I'm going down off him. Watch yourself, because we don't know what the hell is off that ridge. Now, they're about to stumble upon a haunting secret. Oh, my God. Are you picking this up? A ship? Leviathan. Hold on, run a check. Leviathan, currently with the Russian fleet in the Baltic Sea. Currently it's rusted junk and we're looking at it. But what they uncover... It's a human skull, but I don't know yeah. something about it. It's bigger. ...may threaten their very existence. William, speak to me. What's happening now? I'm losing compression. I can't breathe. Do something quick. What if it turns out to be nothing? What are you talking about? It's already killed one man. Infected by a mysterious virus, this crew becomes plagued by fear. I feel something. Somebody's alive in here. All right, come on, let's push the doctor. What do you mean push it? The human beings we're talking about. Oh my God, they're alive. Playboy playmate Brinky Stevens and Kung Fu's David Carradine star in Warlords, a Mad Max-style action-adventure of the future kind. Armed Response and Cyclone were directed by Warlords Fred Olenray, who placed this story in a radioactive post-Holocaust conflict. The Earth is reduced to radioactive rubble. A barren land where few clues remain to a society that's all but forgotten. Fire! But the end of the world marks a brave, bold beginning for a fearsome new breed of terror. There's something happening out there. Warlords, 
savage leaders of an army of mutants. Those gene splicers were crafty little bastards. An army of madmen. A world full of mutants loyal to me. Warlords. Vicious scavengers of the spoils of war. Always managed to bring me all the women I ask for, Boma. Demons on an endless crusade for power. Let's just kill him and get it over with. Patience. With an endless appetite for pleasure. My women never seem to last the night. But one man dares to defy their numbers. I just want you to come out of there alive. But I can still waste some of those scum suckers, can I? And stage a brutal battle for freedom. I kick some monster ass. David Carradine stars in the supercharged epic adventure of tomorrow. Warlords. We are the new book of Genesis. On video cassette from Vidmark Entertainment. These days, Los Angeles seems to be the fashionable spot as a vampire hangout. The To Die For special effects crew also worked on Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and Reanimator. They bring Stephen Bond from General Hospital out of his ward and onto the streets. To Die For also stars a cryptic cast from past horror flicks. Kate Wooten is looking for that special someone. You'll find your perfect mate. You just can't lose hope. Someone to love. There are no knights in shining armor, and if you can't love anything else, then just stay home. Someone to cherish. I don't think this means anything. It doesn't. Someone to die for. <laughs> when love is blind. Love can be deadly to die for. Starring Brendan Hughes, Sidney Walsh, Amanda Weiss, Scott Jacoby, Dwayne Jones, and Steve Bond. You want a piece of me? <laughs> to die for. Well, Video One is doing it again. This time, it's the Fall Extravaganza Sweepstakes. Every Video One branch is giving away popcorn machines, LED signs, and camcorders. There'll also be one national grand prize winner of $25,000 in cash. Dealers will receive a Fall Extravaganza entry form for every $100 purchase from Video One. Simply complete the form and return it to your local Video One branch. Check the mailer for draw dates and prizes and the total approximate value of all prizes is $115,000. You have from September to November to enter, so go to it. The British Parliament had its own scandal back in the 60s when the Minister of War, John Profumo, became involved with Christine Keeler, the same 18-year-old girl who was involved with a Russian attaché. Sound a bit like fiction? Well, the British system invades the bedrooms of anyone they can in Scandal. Written by the same people who brought you The Hunger, Scandal stars Peter Fonda's daughter, Bridget, Joanne Whaley from Willow, and of course, John Hurt. Christine Keeler was 18. Mandy Rice Davies was 16. One year after they met, they brought down a government. Scandal is absolutely riveting, as juicy as its headline, says Rex Reed. You have never made love until you've made love in a gondola. Two thumbs up, one of the best films of the year, say Siskel and Ebert. And Bruce Williamson in Playboy calls Scandal hot. A teasing mix of sex and politics. And Newsweek calls it mischievous, elegant, and delicious. The story that seduced the world is now the most controversial film of the year. Scandal.
Julian Temple directed the blockbuster Earth Girls Are Easy. And if any of you have ever seen the bootleg video The Great Rock and Roll Swindle, well, he directed that too, as well as Absolute Beginners. Earth Girls Are Easy stars Toronto comic Jim Carrey from Peggy Sue Got Married and Once Bitten. Earth Girls also stars, of course, the husband and wife team of Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis. She's a brunette from Southern California. And he's not. I need romance. I need surprises. A UFO landed in my pool. They captured me. I fed them pop tarts, but you've got to cut their hair. What did you say? They may be from outer space. So? They can still be dates. But underneath, they're more than human. Wow. They're incredible. I can fix you up with some birdacious chips, just like that. I'm going home with him. Are we limp and hard to manage? Wait a minute, are you, like, coming on to me? Her boyfriend's a doctor. I've never, ever been unfaithful to you. Whose treatment is totally alienating. Here comes Dr. Love. And her new love's an alien who's more than accommodating. Do you own your own home or do you rent? Gina Davis, Julie Brown, and Jeff Goldblum in a film directed by Julian Temple and produced by Tony Garnett. I just don't want you to think Earth Girls are easy. Earth Girls are easy. Who Framed Roger Rabbit was the number one box office hit of 1988, receiving four Academy Awards and grossing over $340 million worldwide. It's the hit that people of all ages want to own. It's priced at $26.99 and becomes $23.99 after rebate. To get the $3 rebate, the customer simply sends in rental receipts from three Touchstone videos or one movie receipt from a theatrical Touchstone release. This program is backed by dramatic life-size stand-ups, posters, counter cards, a 48-piece pre-packed display, shelf talkers, and consumer advertising. Can we lose the playback, please? You're killing me, killing me. But crying out loud, Roger. How the hell many times do we have to do this damn scene? Raul, I'll be in my trailer. Take it a nap! Woo! Excuse me, Please, Touch. Raul, I can give you stars. Just drop the refrigerator in my head one more time. Roger, I got that on your head 23 times already. I can take it. Don't worry about me. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the refrigerator. This is the tale of an up-and-coming movie star named Roger Rabbit and a down-and-out private detective Stay out. named Eddie Valiant. Booga booga! It's a comedy a little different from all the rest. I'm a pig! I'm a tomb. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Touchstone Pictures and Steven Spielberg present a Robert Zemeckis film. We tombs may act idiotic, but we're not stupid. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? The CBC, renowned for its superb quality of programming, brings to you another children's favorite, The Raccoons, starring Burt Raccoon and Cedric Sneer. This video contains two episodes totaling nearly 50 minutes of children's fun. It's also priced at a sell-through special of 1995. From RCA Columbia Home Video comes the 1962 Best Picture winner, Lawrence of Arabia, which also collected six other Oscars. Now at a suggested retail price of $39.95, Lawrence of Arabia is being made available with newly restored director's cuts and an additional 35 minutes of footage. It also has been enhanced with Dolby Stereo Surround Sound and Letterbox Format, which preserves the widescreen image. Lawrence of Arabia is the perfect gift your customers can afford to give. This Halloween, scare up some sales with Vestron's Halloween Horrors. Vestron is offering four titles at a low price of $19.98. Life Force, An American Werewolf in London, The Abominable Dr. Fibes, and Ghoulies. And for $24.98, look at some of these great titles. The Changeling, Rawhead Rex, Godzilla, From Beyond, Reanimator, and many more. Order yours today. Now it's time for our last call section. We have five films with pre-order dates that are just about up. Make sure you call your rep today. 
History is written by unusual men. Some who even become kings. And some who make no more mark than that of a stone thrown into an ocean. In 1942, on the island of Borneo, an American soldier turned his back on war. His search for freedom led to a world where trust and courage would make him king. Now this paradise is about to become a battleground. They don't know about your war. I'm their king, and I don't want them to know. You did this with your radio. The chaps heard it. They know you're here. A British soldier following orders, but listening to his heart. You trust me. Between the good or bad in a man, I choose to believe the good. An American deserter following his destiny, proving himself worthy to be called king. If your American believes he's a king, then he's mad. If you believe his fantasy, then you're mad. Together, they forged a friendship strong enough to survive a war. Vengeance is futile. It never ends. You told me that. Blood must be answered by blood. Nick Nolte, Nigel Havers, James Fox. Life English, life Russian. Farewell to the King. This September, the Oscar-winning director of Rocky and the Karate Kid films brings you another rousing box office hit about beating the odds. Lean on me. The true story of a New Jersey high school invaded by the war in the streets. What in God's name are they doing down there in East Side? And the man they brought in to stomp it out. The only person who'll take this job is someone with nothing to lose. No. No, 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 no. Not that cut. No. No way. The only guy I can think of. The guy they got was Joe Clark, the controversial real-life toughest principal in America, who turned his school around with a bullhorn and a bat. I want the name. Every hoodlum, drug dealer, and miscreant who's done nothing but take this place apart on my desk by noon today. These people are incorrigible. And since none of them could graduate anyway, you are out of here forever. Despised by some parents. The man's gone crazy. Ah, he's my word to go. And that's why I threw those bastards out. Morgan Freeman one of America's most powerful actors in a true story to match that power. As Joe Clark, the headline-making educator who put his school back on the map and earned headlines from coast to coast, including the cover of Time magazine. Hey, what is that fire? Jeff Fahey, a husband haunted by a violent past. War does things to a man. I'm afraid that Donnie's gonna do something crazy. You ever seen a man with, with his, his, his head blown clean off? Karen Allen, a wife with more on her mind. He's supposed to be dead, Mark. Oh, my God. Keith Carradine, a stranger with nothing to lose. My husband. You mean to tell me he's been in the house the whole time? Where love is the only rule. How do you know I won't tell anyone? And money is the ultimate prize. Because you have nothing to gain and everything to lose. Before this night is over... It's an act! He knows everything that's going on. Someone will be rich. We have to kill him. I'll call you at midnight. It'll be done. Someone will be dead. Wait, are you here? And someone will be avenged. Coast has never been easy. Shut up! But Americans have the kind of driving ambition to meet the challenge and live by the rules of the road. No tailgating. No littering. My car. 
No tipping. You can be so cruel. Why, thank you. No concealed weapons. No invisible weapons. The new stealth model. No obvious weapons. <laughs> no spitting, <laughs> barking, <laughs> skipping, or jumping. That seems good. <laughs> no pit stops. No mercy. <laughs> no, wait a minute. What? On this road, there are no rules. Speed zone. So long, suckers. Peter Boyle, Eugene Levy, Donna Dixon, Hello. John Candy, Hello. the Smothers Brothers, Joe Flaherty, Sherry Belafonte, aren't you? Brooks Shields. I got goosebumps. Speed zone. I'd like to remind everyone that the Focus on Video Show 89 is taking place in Toronto September 23rd to 26th and promises to be Canada's largest video trade show ever. Visit Video One's booth and meet the people behind the scenes. Well, that's it for now, and don't forget to enter the Fall Extravaganza Sweepstakes.